Well, good evening, this is Hound Dog Steve coming to you on the 14th of December. And uh, thank you very much for joining me this evening. And uh, we're going to have a quick update on the Gilets Jean uh, protests in Paris. It looks like we're up for another wave of protests this weekend. And um, this is on Zero Hedge. And uh, the other thing that I thought was kind of interesting about this was that um, they had used the uh, Strasbourg uh, shooting as a plea to end these protests. And you know what, the, what that tells me is that the people who are in charge here basically just haven't realized um, what it is that's going on, why people are so angry. You know, this, this is really, you know, saying to your children, please, pl please calm down to make me happy. What? Well, why are they upset in the first place? Maybe they're starving. Maybe they want you to cook a meal. Maybe, the, maybe there's something else going on. Uh, you know, uh, to use that as a plea is, let's say, it just tells me that they really haven't got what's going on. Uh, they really can't relate to these people on the street who are feeling the real results of inflation and um, a carbon tax and this kind of stuff, uh, food increase uh, costs. Uh, you know, all of this takes a little swipe out of your income and you reach that point, you reach that tipping point and anybody that starts to cross that line between uh, subsistence and non-subsistence income, as that group grows, uh, then they react. So there's no surprises here. You know, history is replete with examples of this kind of thing going on. Anyway, uh, let's go take a little look at those uh, clips and uh, we'll come back and uh, round up. Okay, there you go. So here we are, Zero Hedge. French police brace for fifth wave of yellow vest protests. France is set to deploy tens of thousands of police and gendarmes across the country on Saturday, including 8,000 in Paris, to deal with a fifth weekend of yellow vest protests just days after three people were killed and 13 injured after a mass shooting in the eastern city of Strasbourg. Paris police chief Michel Dupleche said authorities are on watch for violent groups infiltrating the protests and that riot officers will protect landmarks such as the Arc de Triomphe and the Presidential Palace, reports Reuters. We need to be prepared for worst case scenarios, Dupleche told RTL Radio, who added that he doesn't expect business in the capital to suffer the same level of disruption as they have over the past three weeks, when major stores and hotels suffered a dramatic drop in business as tourists avoided the area. This weekend's Yellow Vest protest, nicknamed Act 5, uh, marked the fifth week of anti-government outrage which began over opposition to announce fuel tax designed to pay for climate change policies. Interior Minister Christoph Kastner said it was time for the Yellow Vest to tone down their protests and acknowledge that they had achieved their goals after French President Emmanuel Macron rolled out a series of economic and tax incentives, including a minimum wage hike, no tax on overtime pay, tax-free year-end bonuses and a six-month delay to the fuel tax. Whilst most French people polled by Odoxa said they found Macron's proposal satisfactory, 59% of those polled said they were not convinced by the measure. 54% of those surveyed said yellow vest protests should continue. Many of the yellow vests have flat out rejected Macron's proposals according to European views. He is trying to do a pirouette and land back on his feet, but we can see that he isn't sincere, that it's all smoke and mirrors, said Jean Marc, a car mechanic at a gathering of some 150 yellow vests in the southern town of Le Boulou. It's just window dressing for the media, some trivial measures. It almost seems like a provocation, said Theory, 55, a bicycle mechanic. All this is cinema. It doesn't tackle the problems of substance. We're really wound up. We're going back to battle, he told AFP, before taking part in blocking the Bulu Turnpike on the French-Spanish border. Maybe if Macron had made this speech three weeks ago, it would have calmed down the movement. But now it's too late. For us, this speech is nonsense, said Gaetan, 34, of René Lapin Jean, Yellow Rabbits of René. One 35-year-old French official said that Macron is being held hostage so he drops some crumbs. 
Meanwhile, over 700 police officers were redeployed to Strasbourg for a manhunt following Tuesday's mass shooting at a popular Christmas market. The gunman was shot dead in an exchange of gunfire Thursday evening. Castana said it was time for the yellow vest to give police officers a break. I'd rather have the police force doing their real job chasing criminals and combating the terrorism threat instead of securing roundabouts where a few thousand people keep a lot of police busy, said the interior minister. And uh, here is the uh, Guardian. Calls for end to Gilets jaunes protests in wake of Strasbourg shooting. You see, th th this is really emotional blackmail. Okay, we don't need to go through the story again. I think we all uh, have got most of this now on the news. But it's more using this story as a tactic uh, instead of addressing the underlying problems. And that's the issue. It's the underlying problems that the, are the issue. It's not just the carbon tax. It's all the other things as well as the carbon tax. And until these elites see that that was the trigger and start addressing the real issues, these uh, yellow vest protests are going to continue and spread through more and more countries because this is what they call a canary in the coal mine. It's just an early warning sign of what is to come. Uh, the French have always been very outspoken when it comes to how their parliament and their president governs them. And uh, so, yes, they are the first to go, obviously. Uh, but we will see more and more of this, I'm sure, as the summer comes on and the cost of living keeps on increasing. So, as you can see, uh, these protesters are really digging their heels in and uh, they have vowed uh, to get Macron out of his um, uh, presidency. Uh, who knows whether they will succeed, but uh, there is absolutely no doubt there will be further clashes between uh, Gilets Jean protesters and uh, the police on the ground, uh, who, as I said in a previous video, are stretched to the limit. Okay, there's only uh, so many um, police to go around, uh, armed forces, and uh, you know what, we, what we're talking about here is a rebelli rebellious populace who know the streets like the back of their hand and can move quickly, easily and independently and this makes it very very difficult to um, corral so as we've seen actually there were some uh, protests where the police set upon the protesters and then other protesters set upon the police from behind and uh, so this is a very dangerous situation for all concerned. Anyway, we will be watching this uh, throughout the weekend and I will be giving you uh, um, continuing updates as we find out more and uh, we understand uh, some of the, some of the uh, important details of this, I, I think, um, pivotal, pivotal issue in France. And as I said, these protests have moved into the Netherlands uh, and into Brussels. Uh, I believe as more and more people are affected by um, cost of living, uh, that these protests are going to continue. Now they may quell these uh, and uh, keep it quiet for a little while, but I will guarantee you there will be something else, there will be something new. Um, maybe Macron has bought himself a six month reprieve uh, with the um, uh, uh, saying he's not going to implement the carbon tax or the tax on the elderly, uh, the pensioners. So who knows? We'll have to see. Time will tell. Okay, well, you take care, you have a great evening, and we will talk to you very soon. See you now. Bye.